All right, what's up there, everybody? So along with Terry coming through for Street Fighter VI on the 24th, a new artificial intelligence system that is uh, specifically made per level was created for uh, practice, for competition. So it is going to be in the Battle Hub area, and we're going to take a look at that. And one thing that I had no clue that it was going to do, which is very, very cool, it actually gives you back advice on things that you can do to try to get better that it notices. It's almost a, um, uh, it says it's customized advice. Um, it's almost artificial intelligence uh, advice coming back. So very, very cool. Let's check out the trailer. It just came out about four hours ago. So this is what makes it really interesting, right? So you can pick between modern and classic. You can go in and pick what level you want. But I, I had been sort of thinking, and you know how you can pick what commentator you want to commentate your match, right? There's the commentator option. And they have to use a software so that they'll know which line the commentator should say depending on what's happening in the game, right? Well, it seems almost as if you're playing and then it gathers whatever the synopsis is and then that's how I'm thinking that they're coming up with the responses here. You know, and then they'll say, hey, you know, well, take a look at this or try that or focus more on this or whatever but they'll have it programmed in you know it's very very neat um, I think they almost took the idea of the, uh, the commentators and when they should say and what they should say at certain times right and it's all it's all pre-recorded but when and what and when to make it go live. But this is at the end. It's just very neat. I, I don't know. I, I think it's a very cool thing. Very, very cool thing. Yeah, it's, it's very, it's very cool. It's very cool. So this is coming in when Terry Bogart's coming in. And what makes it interesting with that is... Um, I thought this was going to be a f uh, fighting grounds tool, which is more, you know, the custom rooms, uh, the ranked games, and then um, the training room. And I, I really thought this was going to be a training room tool, but it's not. They're putting it straight up in the, um, in the battle, the battle hub. So I guess what would end up happening is, is that, you know how you can walk into uh, any of the uh, levels, right? 
and you see eternity there and eternity will say okay hey you know we're having a street voter uh, you can vote on whatever piece of sushi is your favorite or uh, favorite character or favorite character art or whatever it is so I bet you you head on head on over here and then you'll see uh, Lee sitting there and then you access her and then it and then you just it'll probably just take you away to wherever the loading area is for that you know <laughs> the funny thing is is that I think it's really cute how the laptop has all kinds of little stickers on it and that just sort of reminds me of um you know having your laptop and having stickers on it and and especially some of the laptops at events and you have your uh, challenge or start gg in there and you know you have your bracket running and it's in it's in your laptop and uh that's just a really cute uh, touch there for that i thought but you can't miss that giant panda Now, what, what really sort of blows my mind is how they really made a focused point of saying you can pick between modern and classic. And that's important because between modern and classic, there's moves that are missing, right? And ironically, in a lot of modern characters one of the moves is the overhead so if you are specifically playing against a modern whomever you decide to choose that's that's one of the options there's very very as crazy i don't mean to say as crazy as it sounds but i went to a tournament this weekend that was um in new york and there was a good handful of very good modern players there. There was a modern Honda. There was um, a modern Akuma. And uh, there was a modern Lily. And they were doing very well. And then we have Heitani, plays a lot of modern characters, but does really well with Chun-Li. And Sol Ving plays a modern uh, Luke right there so where this really becomes important is say you sign up for a tournament you're looking at the bracket and you see okay here is a modern Honda I need to practice against this well if you practice against a modern uh, a Honda and it's a classic Honda and they're going to have you know a couple of additional additional uh, regular they're going to have the full standard move set and accessibility to everything but if you play a modern it's going to be a little bit it's going to be a little different and at the same time the timing may be a little different and I think that is a big um, if they figured out a way to make it so that there is some more of that instant timing that's going to be very interesting to see <laughs> Oh, see, Terry's at the bottom. There he is. But he's kind of grayed out there. You can't access him. But that's, that's very interesting. Look, and then here you can see this is the uh, the AI the AI panda working there. Yeah, they said you play against SimSim. Sim. I guess that's simulator simulator. You know, that's that's cute. What's that there? Do you have?
you have any feedback for me? Where do I find someone at a similar level? Let's chat, and we're going to head out there. See ya. You know, what's really, really kind of interesting about that in particular right there is the fact that um, the feedback is the AI feedback, right? We, we sort of talked about that. But where do we find someone at a similar level? And I remember seeing, and this was a couple of months ago, where they said, we are going to have battle hubs where certain areas are going to be for certain uh, ranked people, right? Or, or people that want to learn or whatever it may be. So I bet you when you access that, she'll say, hey, you know, you can go right here. You can probably just click on it and just be transported there. This is so important for, for Street Fighter VI. I mean, absolutely. But also really important for um, all fighting games. Especially, there's concerns, you know, about Tekken. You know, people will say, Tekken's too hard. You know, oh my gosh. If they had something like this too where they can say, okay, you know what, you can go to this certain area. And really, at the end of the day, it's the, um, it's the Avatar Lounge. You know, you can go there, and then you can play against, you can pick against people of varying levels in there. It's a little more, uh, I think it's a little more forgiving than um, uh, the, the, the cre uh, created sessions as, or search for sessions or the ranked area. But um, I think it's, I, I think things like this, even if it was more um, corralled and guided, is just a really big help. Even if the people that you're playing against may be AI people, you know, um, it's, it's a really good idea, it, to be honest. Receive instant feedback after each match. Talk to Leifen, Leifen for a more detailed assessment. Good job with the super arts. Mm. So here's all of your options here. Battle uh, the computer. What are your results? Battle yourself, spectate the match, and then what is your reward for doing it? They'll probably give you, you know, uh, points. Um, and that's the good thing, too, with a lot of this is you can get tons and tons and tons of um, points. And I've used them for all kinds of, you know, outfits and, and stuff like that and um, use them towards all kinds of things. Yeah, very cool. Oh, there's challenges in there. Yeah. Missions. Complete three challenges, complete two challenges, five challenges, and ten challenges. It's interesting. Complete the missions in V free V, yeah it is. It's V Vival. It is. I kept thinking it, I I thought it was Vival, and then I thought it was Rival. No, it is R I V A L. Rival, Rival. Wait a minute here. I know I'm gonna say this incorrectly. It's killing me. A rival. Yeah, it's just straight up rival. Got to look up the pronunciation there. Uh, comes in handy. I need constant reminders not to use the thunderstorm. Hey there, what's up? What's up? I should switch to modern geef. I don't have to uh, access the over is overhead kick. Uh, overconfident. Well, let me tell you. Uh, I was trying to use my um, uh, Crouching Fierce Punch, the Crouching Heavy, against that, 
and you snuff me right out of it. And I sit there and I go, oh my god, you know, yeah. Um, I think you do real well with it, to be honest. Um, just sometimes you don't want to put it out uh, well, and then you catch people on startup of trying to jump up and back out of the way, or just trying to jump neutrally to go over you with it. Yeah, you do, you do real well with it. You know how to use it as a pressure tool, um, and you know how to fish with it, you know. I'd, I'd keep doing it, to be honest, but just like you said, not too much, but I'd definitely use it. That's my opinion, because you snuff me out of everything with that. I'm just speaking out of firsthand experience, you know, because I sit there and I go, oh, my God, <laughs> how did this happen? I feel that. Uh, forgot that was the thing coming. Speaking of outfits, can't wait for the next wave of costumes. Zangief never had it better. Yeah, I love his, um, his, his suit is very nice. I like his suit a lot. I think it's, I think it's really well, well done. Very well made. Uh, his glasses. He's very dapper. Whoops. I just switched it. Wait a minute here. That wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, so new mode. Leaf Ends V Rival, available on September 24th, coming in when Terry's coming in, only in the Battle Hub. Um, that's amazing. It's yeah, it's in the Battle Hub, and um, and I bet you it's because when people would say, hey, you know, okay, I want to go to whatever area for these different players, it just grabs people, shoots them right over there. Um, yeah, very very cool, very cool. Mm. Very nice. Yeah, who would have thought, you know? Whoops. Very neat there. Yeah, something something else that's really cool to look forward to. Anybody else have any other uh, thoughts thoughts on this? It looks like a very, a very neat concept, um, and supposedly, the more that this is gathering information, the better it's going to be. The better it's going to run, run, and stronger it's going to run, and everything. So, it is uh, taking everybody's um, information and play styles and everything and then making uh, adjustments as it goes along so that's also very interesting yeah yeah different back in a second very very cool there a v rival is a great idea. Come to think of it, most jarring thing I experienced in rank, uh, each new rank felt, had to learn the matchups all over again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely, I, I definitely agree. Um, and it makes me wonder because it's going to be it's going to be learning, supposedly, from people, right? And let's just put it out there. Let's say you're in ranked, and you come across a character that's going to do 10 million uppercuts. 10 million uppercuts, DI, 10 million uppercuts. Uh, try to put you into some sort of a crazy block stun situation, you know, and then and just just try to keep blasting you, you know, for whatever reason, or or a move like that. It ma it makes me wonder if it's going to pick up on stuff like that too. But the funny thing is, is that the way that this video is going, they're making it sound like that isn't going to happen whereas in the past I remember if you would play against uh, a CPU and you would have the CPU on 
um, full levels, you know, or, or full ultra or full super or whatever it would be. And then it would do anything and then e instantly access the full, you know, the ultra, the super, the anything. And if you have it on uh, refresh, you know, it'll, it'll be hitting super like every five seconds. It'll get a super, you know, and just, just hit the super. Um, I th it's making it sound like this is going to be more advanced than that. So I can't wait to see how this turns out. I think it's very promising. I think it's very, very promising. And something I've never really heard of. Now, in, you know, in Tekken, they do have something like this. It's the ghost system. And you can go in and you can download somebody's ghost. And it's supposed to be a representative of how they play. You know, things like that. You can practice against that. But this is a modification, uh, roughly, instead of it being uh, one king, it's a group of all kings. And then it, I think it just gathers and filters some of the best options and information. And then it utilizes it that way. Instead of this is one person and this is how we're going to go through. But um, yeah, it's, it's very, very cool. Very cool. There is an exploit on rank that lets you pick a character that is not Kenorakuma. Really? How is that possible? I can sense a uh, V-Rifle, Kuma, Mash, and Heavy Kick. Haven't touched the uh, ranked uh, oh, since the launch there. I play Luke and play Akuma. When, oh, <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it, that was just an example. It could be, it could be any character where there is a strong reversal button, you know, a strong reversal option, and they, they throw it out a lot, and that happens. Let's just not, let's not dance around it. It happens, right? And I would think that this would not pick up. I think it would not pick up on that. I mean, it's definitely going to experience it because you know people are going to be going in there and doing stuff like that. But I'm thinking that they might have it programmed in such a way where they'll say, you can't, like, okay, no, here's another example. I don't think that it would do more than two throws in a row. I don't think that it would go for three throws three throws, four throws, five throws. I don't think it would do that. I think it would just max out at two. Do you, do you see what I mean with that? I play Luke. Uh, level eight, Ken. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that it'll be more adaptive because it, it wants, number one, it's, it's machine, right? But number two, it wants you to adapt to that. So I think that's how it would work. Hopefully, right? I think it, I think that's how it would work. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, looks very promising. Very good there. I'm I'm excited for it. Uh, this is it's it's beyond what I thought it was going to be. Um I didn't know that they could even do that much with this you know one of the things I do know is in Dead by Daylight sometimes if there aren't enough you know killers on or not enough survivors on or you know whatever they'll actually have artificial intelligence being those characters and uh, and then at the end of the game it'll say at the very end which ones which ones the AI were and they're not bad they're not bad. They have it down to a science now. Um, it's it's very cool. It's very, very cool. Yeah. Well, is there anything else anyone wants to mention uh, or talk about or, or bring up about the, the new rival system? Looks like something something good on the horizon there.
I'm pretty against uh, AI. AI can. No, don't say that. Don't say that. That's not true. Well, I... What's going to be interesting about AI, Ken, is the combos that it's going to be doing. That's what's going to be interesting. They're probably going to pull out a lot of optimal combos. Really. Because that's what would be programmed, right? I don't think, at the high levels, I don't think that it would do anything that's suboptimal. I mean, I mean, maybe, maybe at, at the lower ones because it doesn't want to blast the person into next year. But at the high levels, I bet it's optimal everything. And then at that point, that's when I'd get my notebook out and kind of go, okay, and just start writing everything down because it's probably the best options to do in this, this, and that situation. You know, hopefully, right? I would, I would think. Yeah, I would think. Well, very good. This is very good. It's a lot to look forward to. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very, very excited. I'm excited to see it. Yeah. Boy, we had the, um, we had the AI Akuma, and now we have AI everybody, right? So, very cool. Very cool. A great learning tool. Oh, Ed's Dream Combo. They did say, I swear I read somewhere, that the beginning stages of this is also learning stages. So this is going to be still taking in data. And I bet you more detailed things that it would iron out better as time goes on. So so this is what I, I thought that I had read in an article about a month or so ago. I thought I read that right now this has information from a smaller pool. But once it goes live, then the big pool comes, right? And everybody, everybody's information comes in. And then it'll decipher through that. So for uh, Ed's, you know, psycho canon, um, elaborate combos, things like that, I bet because it, well, because it, no doubt it already knows that, but maybe certain different variations that maybe people would do, I bet it would then start picking up that and then maybe deciphering between them? Possibly? But, um... I think it just takes a little bit of... It'll take a little bit of time. But when it starts to really start gathering more steam, I think that uh, it'll be able to do... Well, variations of it. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Nope. All right. Well, this was this was a good one. I think that I think that they're really on to something special with this, and especially the fact then that you can pick whatever level you wish to go on is is a good thing. So, um, I mean afterwards where you could say oh I want to go on the bronze in the bronze area or whatever and then they send you there I think that's the main reason why it's in the fighting grounds so yeah so very very cool very cool <laughs>